Hello and welcome to Morningstar. I'm Emma Wall and joining me today is Rachel Winter from Killick to give her three stock picks. Hello, Rachel. Morning, Emma. So what's the first stock today? Uh, the first company is Deutsche Post, which owns the delivery company DHL. In Deutsche Post, it really owns the biggest logistics network in the whole of Europe. So for us, it's a play on the growth of e-commerce across Europe. I think here in the UK, we're very used to e-commerce and online deliveries, but Europe really has been a bit slower to pick up on this trend. So we think there's a huge amount of growth to be had here still. And if Deutsche Post is the one delivering all the parcels for this, we think there is a lot more growth for them. And how competitive is this market? We're familiar with some of the names in the in the UK who deliver mm -hmm. some of our goods. Across Europe, is DHL or, or Deutsche Post, is that the dominant player? Definitely, yeah. So by far the biggest market share. And it's a, it's a market sector that's very hard to break into because the introductory cost is so high. So it's taken them years and huge amounts of money to build that network. And I think it would be very difficult for anyone else to break into it. And what's the second stock today? Second stock is another German company, actually, called Heidelberg Cement. So as you can guess, they produce cement. Um, about 8% of their revenue comes from the UK, about a quarter comes from Europe, and another quarter comes from the US. And really, this is a play on the increase in spending on infrastructure. So I think over the last couple of decades, global infrastructure spending has been incredibly low. And we have got a situation whereby roads, railways, airports really do need serious upgrades across the whole of the world. So that will require huge amounts of cement so that's why we think Heidelberg will do well. And we've heard this week from the IMF that global growth remains robust. Do we need strong economic growth for a company like this that's dependent on infrastructure spend to do well? Ideally, yes, but because infrastructure spend really comes from the government, I think it will be less affected by a slowdown in growth than other sectors such as consumer. And what about the third and final stock? Third one is a company called Tencent. This is actually one of the top 10 companies by value in the whole world, but it's not a company that we really use over here. So I think a lot of people haven't really heard of it. It's actually China's leading internet company, um, one of the largest internet companies in the world. It's actually the biggest mobile gaming company in the world and also the biggest online payments company in the world. I think by number of users, it's three times the size of PayPal just for mobile payments. I think half of all time spent on a mobile internet device in China is spent on one of Tencent's apps. So it's doing incredibly well and we think the growth potential is huge. And you, to talk to that growth potential, obviously China is a huge market and it's probably enough just to dominate that part of the world. But does Tencent have ambitions to, to, be, a, to be a global player? It does. It's definitely still expanding. Earnings are growing at more than 20% per year. I think partic particularly on the gaming side, I think there is potential for those games to move over into the US and also to Europe. Rachel, thank you very much. This is Emma Wolf for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.